and this company who whose name was everywhere, whether it was on trucks, on billboards or in conversations, was Guns Limited. In Parliament and in business, there's a, an old boys club. Forestry is a big and powerful industry. People are just so upset and so angry about what's happening to their forests. It is a bloody jewel that should be treasured and it's worth fighting for. All it requires for evil to prosper is for good people to do nothing. Lots of people who don't like Guns Limited in this state and there's lots of people who aren't afraid to say so. Uh, we just stood up for our community. Potentially a real health risk associated with those wood chip piles. When things are unjust, even if they are um, operating under the laws of parliament, doesn't necessarily mean that it's right. They're looking for you, they've got to, I've just been served with a writ and your name's on the list as well. We weren't under the impression that publicising political beliefs was a criminal activity. Could uh, not believe that a person could be sued for raising a public health issue. The um, defendants we did, uh, we did. are facing an enormous, a billion dollar company. I'm not particularly proud of the fact that I'm being sued by guns. <laughs> it's not easy, it's very emotionally taxing. Oh, it's been almost two years. The reason for being for big companies suing individual activists is not in fact to be successful in their claim, but rather to tie the activists up in a long and emotionally taxing battle. It will cost a fortune in legal fees, which far outweigh any of the damages that Guns claim to have suffered. The bankruptcy means that you know I would potentially lose my home. What's happening? How can we have a democratic debate if people can't speak because they're afraid of being sued? Guns have gone too far. This is a corporation trying to manage how we engage with life. 